Boys. You're alive. Arthur. No you're, you're alive. <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. Okay. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked a local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island. East of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor, we are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos! Vamos! Vámonos! Muévanse! Let's go! We got another group rounded up down the way. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? Oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos.
okay? Uh, yeah. Uh. Damn. Reinforcements. Mon dieu. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fabit, everyone, follow me. Wait, Fabit, come, come, come. Javier! Ah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Uh. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Kill. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Gooey, gooey. Go, go. <laughs> Follow me. Quick! What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hercule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Futa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. 
Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting. Carefully. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. <gasps> Vamos, vamos, rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. I scared that You know, wasn't Fusar one of the Feathers Bronte pointed out to us at the party in Saint Denis. Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So did you deal with those workers for Hercule yet? Not yet. I will. 
But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. He's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many? Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? Puede callarse ya. Estamos cerca. The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> Almost there. This way. See, si. then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? What? what are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, oh, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Art. Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Oh. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Sí que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno. Ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. Vamos, carajo. This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Okay, let's hide the bodies. 
You grab that one. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Why? Uh, well, you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <clears throat> Create enough dust. This place will go. Okay, <clears throat> we are nearly there. Get this going. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.
sorry. I can't get out.
my turn for guard duty. Even. Good evening.
That don't look good. Okay. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Come, follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. If they catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that fella? Shh. One of her cues men. Quick. Hide. Over there. Pasa. Esto es una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Van solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Okay. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Come on, follow me. Another one. Hide, quick. Angel. Nunca hubo alguien con un nombre menos apropiado. Diablo, quedaría mejor. Oh, pendejo. Está enfermo. Seguro está disfrutando mientras tortura a esos bastardos. Se le pone tieso el petito. Fue creado por ratas. Take cover on the other side of the store. Ratas. Criado por el mismo diablo. Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. ¿Eh? 
Move over. Come on, stick tight. <laughs> Maldito bastardo! Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Aircourt. We owe you our lives. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. What you ask. It's like I said. Fusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fusar has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Quick! So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn whoosh. You kind of have to hand it to this fella. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we won. 
Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ID. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Morgan! Shoot them man! Shoot them! Fellers on the beach! I see them. We got more coming at us on the rock! Let's be paid when I'm in hot Why the hell are we doing this? This ain't our fight! I'll get the ammunition. Look out on the left here, boys! You said you were getting us a goddamn boat, Hercule! I am! What do you want me to do? We are trapped up here! We need to deal with them! Closing in on us! Shoot someone, Morgan! Okay, then. Follow me. This is kind of fun.
not over yet. Another boat's landing on the beach. Some more shot. Empathy water line. We need to put a serious hole in that point. From here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Nice Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. 
He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions, so when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. It's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. However... In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right. Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hey, cool. we follow you. Anale, this way. Let's get up around the back of that artillery post. There's two guards. Arthur, come on. Okay, we're clear. Let's plant the explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, my kid. <laughs> Come on, run!
things out here. Oh, I got you now, you bastard. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today, and not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Or you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Enough. Hear me. <laughs> You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam... Let's go. Gentlemen. Oh. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. They have sent me enforcements. Of the In the tower? Yes. Yes, that's him. This goddamn idiot. Come on! We have to take him down! There's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try! We don't have a shot on him.
Got it for you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear, probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by money. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we survived. Just about. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Le Moyne again, and we're all wanted men. We slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. And we don't cut and run now? Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know, I ain't turning back. We had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Make our escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. We all acting crazy. And that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? There, girl.
Anybody here? Hello? Anyone here? Susan! Strauss, you here? Sadie? Harrison? Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws. Look, those are fresh footprints. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton? I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful.
your uncle Tacitus. I do. Well, thank you, darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. Hey, you're okay, girl. Girl? Yeah. Arthur! Arthur's here! Oh, Arthur! Oh, you're alive! Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, it's raining. You. Hey, everybody, look who's here. How y'all doing? Yeah. Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Okay. Hey. He's He's How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? Boss, <laughs> Mrs. Adler, who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we. Oh, you. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We, we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me. I am gonna get us out of here. This ain't over.
Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangmen on our tail. Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor, the United States government, and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth... Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually... Let them have it. Everyone get down! Uh, ask everyone you could find, did you, Bill?
kick us, Arthur? Oh, me and Bill and Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now, please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss, I, not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my, the boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. He made Doyle's Tavern a million avenue. Okay. My lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch who seems half crazed by all we gone through. Starting to wish we'd stayed on Guam. I didn't lead them here, Morgan. I swear it. Uh, it don't matter either way. Good girl. Okay, girl. Been a while. Mister, are you okay? 
Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, Mister? <laughs> mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. friend. Go on. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. <coughs> Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. Yeah. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson, a bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey. We didn't know if you was coming back. hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's... Gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullet. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah. Uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> OK, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, 
Liquids over the side. Solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Whoa there. No need to go any higher. Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Valdesario, so you could say I got off lightning. Look, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Hmm. The wind. 
Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Okay, he ain't by the barn. You look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? What about down to your left there? That's not him. All right, let's try one of the other fields. I can't believe we're doing this. I, uh, I see someone up to your right there. Wait, is that him? Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that. Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? This is absolutely insane. Oh, the wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord! My heart is pounding! <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey, say it! Up there! Daryl Driscoll. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. I think I might need to adjust my feet. What was she thinking messing with the old Driscoll's right now?
Arthur! Hold on! You break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. Oh, damn it, look! There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches!
catch you soon enough! Looks like we made it! That'll show them! I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? OK. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's going to swing. I'm going to make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. OK. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. <gasps> Come on, girl. Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <laughs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. Someone take the big gun. I don't know who this no cow bounty hunt bastard is.
Days ain't short. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around. 
around for your bounty. Whoa, hey, you got my attention now. Watching you. I'm at good on my promises. Here's your payment. Looks right. to start work even earlier. Huh. I'll go. I've seen... That's a shame. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Here's hoping for a better day. White, two, deep. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, 
I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move, but... I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to, and I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while your boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. Okay, girl. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Easy. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? You still with me there? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Well, not exactly. An island off of there called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Yeah. 
I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway. And that'll do. Come on. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. <laughs> Your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Murphy hail stranger. My walk where you wander. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people who are missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Manisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. Might have lookouts around. Okay.
Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. this way. Hold up, hold up. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Why do I always gotta do the carrying? Because I do the skinning. What are you waiting for? Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with.
Seymour? Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Don't touch me. Just calm down. Stay away from me. It's okay. It's okay. Shh. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. It's okay. Okay. Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. <laughs> it's all right, miss. Why would they? <laughs> Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. <laughs> If you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. It'll be easier to walk from there. Get moving, will you? Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Yes. She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got Oh, my darling. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this.
No, oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep her warm and keep her safe. This is down. Oh, no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. Took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge! Did you miss me? I found her drunk as sand underneath. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me nothing. Miss. I don't know you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? Yeah, I told him, I tell him again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. God, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worth it. You told on <laughs> oh, me. You're you not betrayed now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Traitor! She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. 